Welcome back. You guys are watching Summit Sunrise here on TV8. It is Wednesday and there is always something going on around this county. And I am joined by Christina from the town of Silverthorne. He's going to fill us in on all things Silverthorne. Now, you guys have so much diversity as far as activities and things to do in Silverthorne from arts and culture, performing arts, hiking, biking, fishing. Tell me what's happening this week. There's a ton going on, so we're really excited. Tomorrow we're hosting an artist reception at the Silverthorne Performing Arts Center from 5 to 6 p.m., just celebrating all of the amazing artwork we have in town right now. And so what um, exhibits are currently on display? We have a few different things. So one of the things that's really exciting, there's a Celebrate Summit art exhibit that features um, all local Summit County artists from across the county. So there's um, artwork running June and July, and then that exhibit will be kind of refreshed for the rest of the summer, August and September. So if you already saw it, come back again. But all the artists for that exhibit will be honored tomorrow, as well as some different artists from across the state. So there's a really cool um, flower and willow display at the Performing Arts Center hanging by an artist, um, Eileen Richardson. There's a very cool glass, like blown glass display that if you drive by the Performing Arts Center at night, it looks really pretty. That's by Blake Street Glass. Um, and then the sculptures outside the Performing Arts Center by Joshua Pass and Harold Link. So just honoring all of those amazing artists and celebrating the art in our community. That's really cool and I love that a lot of that art comes from our locals here. We have some incredible talent. Um, so for, for those guys to come out and maybe support their local um, artists, I think that's a really cool opportunity. We're really excited to celebrate everyone. And remind people where they can see all of this. Um, at the Silverthorne Performing Arts Center. So anytime that building is open to the public, you're welcome to come in, check out the art, but the reception tomorrow is, is tomorrow at five, uh, 5 to 6 p.m. Okay, I actually didn't know that it was open all the time, so that's really cool. So people can maybe hit the river, or go out, hike and bike, and then just swing by and just Definitely. take a Definitely, yeah. Grab a cup of coffee from Red Buffalo um, and walk on over. <laughs> now, aside from art there's some other really fun things going on in Silverthorne I've heard about this Osprey walk tell me a little bit more yes so next week on July 31st there's an Osprey walk so we'll all be gathering at North Pond Park and there will be different um, nature displays and we'll be taking a walk out to the Osprey nest in Silverthorne and then there will also be a live birding presentation by the Raptor Education Foundation so just a really cool way to learn about our local wildlife see some local wildlife and um, yeah that's really cool. I, I wasn't sure what the event was about, so I'm excited to hear more about it. Um, and, you know, there are so many cool things to see as far as the plants and the trails and the flowers. And then, you know, you get that glimpse of the wildlife every once in a while. We have to remind people to stay away yes. from the wildlife. They are beautiful from afar. Yes, and this is a really great um, opportunity to kind of see them from afar and learn from, um, you know, people who who know all about the birds and, and what they have to say and yeah. Yeah, and speaking of getting out and about and getting some exercise on this walk and checking out our nature, you guys also have this Silverthorne Rec Center. So I know you have stuff going on there all the time. It is a beautiful facility. All the time and we're, I know it's only July, but we're gearing up for fall already. So registration for fall programs begins um, August 5th at 7 a.m. So if there's anything you're looking for your kids to get into gymnastics, dance, um, soccer, or adult programs like aerial yoga, um, sign up for all of that starts um, soon. Well, that's awesome. I feel like I should probably sign up. I need to get out there and work out. So <laughs> There's a, ready for a the really winter. cool ski and ride conditioning class. So I know we're all enjoying summer right now, but if you're looking to get ready for the ski season, that'll be a good one to do. I feel like it's never too early to prep for <laughs> no. winter because, you know, typically we see that first snowfall the first week of October. So I don't know. We're crazy ready. for living here. We have such a short <laughs> summer and it's one of the best times of the year. Well, if um, people want to find out more information about the rec center and all those programs they can sign up, where can they go? Um, visit us at silverthorne.org. All right. And then, you know, we've talked about art. We've talked about the Osprey Walk, the rec center. But how about Mamma Mia? Let's talk theater. Yes. So um, Lake Dillon Theater Company is running Mamma Mia right now. I'm going on Friday to see it. So very excited to go check that out. I know it's been a summer favorite for a lot of people that are coming to the theater. So, you know, plan a night out in Silverthorne. Go have dinner at Sauce on the Blue. Go see a show at the theater. 
grab drinks at Angry James or Baker's Brewery afterwards. I love It'll it. Be a great so time. Many, so many breweries, <laughs> so many things to do. Yes. Remind us one more time where people can find information about all the stuff you guys have going on in Silverthorne. Silverthorne.org. Easy as that, guys. So much happening um, for the whole family and that adventurer or somebody who just wants to kick back and, and have some good dinner, some dining, and an ice-cold beer.